Hello and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk about one screen presenter view. And what I want to show you is my two screens that are enabled. I'm going to swap them. And now disconnect the cable to the monitor on the left. So now you can see that only the right monitor is enabled and that's what we'll be working from today. So from going to dual screen presenter view to one screen presenter view, we get rid of the second monitor and we can get actually get to presenter view by right clicking show presenter view. And of course, you can see all of the things that we're used to. Showing the taskbar, display settings. You cannot swap since we only have one monitor, which we showed you earlier. But normally, you could swap presenter view and slideshow view or duplicate the slideshow if you had a second monitor, TV, whatever. In the slideshow view, you're running stopwatch. You could pause the timer, you could reset the timer, and here's the current time of the computer, the current slide. Moving to the bottom, we have the pin options, pin and laser tools. The second icon, you can see all slides. Here you can magnify the slide. This is the one I really love, the black option which takes the attention from the slide back to the presenter. Toggle subtitles. Toggle the camera on and off. It's not going to do it since we're actually in Zoom. And then we have more options here. Last view slide, had presenter view. What does that do for you? Oh, it goes back to slideshow view. Screen options, black, white, show taskbar, subtitles, camera on and off, which camera you want to use, and then help, and then end show. And at the very bottom, you have the previous and advanced buttons. And then in between those, you have what slide you are on out of the total deck. So here we're on slide two or four. Moving to the top right side of the presenter view, you have a snapshot or a thumbnail of the next slide to be shown. And below it, you have notes. And if we go to the next slide, I believe we have some notes. Yes, here are notes for slide three of this presentation. And you can adjust the size of the fonts with the font up and down buttons located here at the bottom of the screen on the bottom right. And one other item, these division lines, I'll call them, you can make them larger or smaller. You can drag those to where you want them. So if you have less notes, well, I guess you can't drag the notes down any further, but I guess you could go up to show more notes. Plus, I failed to mention you have a note scroll bar here on the far right. So you can change the appearance of this thing depending on what it is you really want to work with. Now, the whole thing with presenter view is that it was really made for two monitors. If you've only got one monitor, you can still get some use out of it. I found that use to be helpful to the presenter or to the deliverer and that you have the timing feature. Am I within time? Is my 10 minute presentation really 10 minutes or is it 15 minutes? I mean, I need to cut something. Or if it's seven minutes, that may be long enough to allow for Q&A. I can look, I can practice on my notes. I can look for keywords or maybe your notes are only keywords to spring 
the next thought on that slide. Plus the slides are notes themselves. They're not supposed to be full sentences. Fragments are okay. One word sentences are okay. One word thoughts are okay because it's supposed to spur you to the next item. There are not full documentation like Word and other technical training documents. So the single monitor presenter view can help you with the presentation, help you with your timing, help you with your notes, could help you with the pen use. What color pen do you want to use? Do you want to use script or do you want to use the highlighter? You can work those things out. Same way with black and white or with the black and white screen. When do you want to bring more attention to you? Camera on and off. That's if you're recording your video. And then your other options we talked about earlier. So there is some use for a single monitor presenter view compared to a dual monitor, dual monitor presenter view where you have your presentation notes and presenter view on one screen and you have your edit view on another screen or your slideshow view on another screen. You can get to presenter view from the edit view just by pressing Alt F5. Alt F5 will take you straight to presenter view. And from there, you can get into your practicing and all the other things you need to do. So it's easy to remember because F5 puts you into slideshow mode from the first slide. And Alt F5 puts you in slideshow view from the current slide. So Alt F5 is the one you're thinking about. With edit view up, you can hop to presenter view. And then you can also bring up edit view and have all three views up at the same time. So you could hop back and forth from edit view to slideshow view. You can use Alt tab to switch between the windows in the Windows program. This is great for editing. Now, you can also, if you so desire, it's, it's a little, could be a little tedious, you could use presenter view as your presentation view or your slideshow view with your monitor. It would be a little tedious because you would have all this other information visible to the audience, the next slide, your notes, but that may be okay depending on what it is. I mean, if you're a doctor, uh, that, that, that may be okay. And then you could always swap tabs back to slideshow view to show the full screen slide. You can use it in some circumstances. It really just depends. And you just need to practice using, you know, the alt tab, which is pretty easy. But then also, what are those features? What are those features in presenter view are you really going to use? Are you going to use the, the, the black screen option? You're going to use the pen any and do any annotations. You'll probably you'd be using notes and you'll probably be using the upcoming slide. Are you going to be using the timer? Is, is time important? Do you have all afternoon to make your case with a lot of, lots of Q&A? Or do you have a time slot of 10, 15, 20 minutes? And just remember, remember the features that we've talked about from within printed, presenter view can be found from slideshow view by right clicking on any slide that's up. So we've given you some ideas on single monitor presenter view use. In summary, presenter view was designed for two monitors when you were presenting to an audience. But it can help you immensely when you're building your presentation by using the timing feature within presenter view. You can practice delivering your notes, you know, scanning quickly to look at keywords. You could use the blackout feature. You may want to zoom in on a slide to look at some particular detail of a schematic or maybe 
a cardiovascular system or system or something. You may want to use the pen or the high and or the highlighter. And of course, the next slide preview. The last item, presenter view can be used for presentation, but I feel it would take much practice. So think about it, try it, and let me know how you make out. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment, and we'll see you on the next video.